In addition to voltage and current, there is another measure of free electron activity in a circuit, power. First, we need to understand just what power is before we can analyze it in any circuits. Power is a measure of how much work can be performed in a given amount of time. Work is generally defined in terms of lifting of a weight against the pull of gravity. The heavier the weight and or the higher it is lifted, the more work has been done. Power is a measure of how rapidly a standard amount of work is done. In this picture, the runner is doing work by running up some stairs. No matter how long it takes the runner to get to the top of the stairs, the amount of work done is the same. It is the mass of the runner, m, measured in kilograms, multiplied by the acceleration of gravity, g, or 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth, multiplied by the height of the stairs, h, in meters. Power is the rate that work is done. It is defined as work divided by time, or W divided by T. The power produced by the runner is dependent on how quickly he or she runs up the stairs. For American automobiles, engine power is rated in a unit called horsepower, invented initially as a way for steam engine manufacturers to quantify the working ability of their machines in terms of the most common power source of their day, horses. One horsepower is defined in British units as 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, or 550 foot-pounds of work per second of time. A foot-pound is another unit of work or energy. It is equal to the amount of work required to lift a pound one foot against gravity. The power of a car's engine won't indicate how tall of a hill it can climb or how much weight it can tow, but it will indicate how fast it can climb a specific hill or tow a specific weight. The power of a mechanical engine is a function of both the engine's speed and its torque provided at the output shaft. Speed of an engine's output shaft is measured in revolutions per minute, or RPM. Torque is the amount of twisting force produced by the engine, and it is usually measured in pound-feet, not to be confused with foot-pounds, which is the unit for work. Neither speed nor torque alone is a measure of an engine's power. A 100 horsepower diesel tractor engine will turn relatively slowly, but provide great amounts of torque. A 100 horsepower motorcycle engine will turn very fast, but provide relatively little torque. Both will produce 100 horsepower, but at different speeds and different torques. The equation for shaft horsepower is simple. It is 2 times pi, or 6.28, multiplied by s, the shaft speed in rotations per minute, multiplied by the torque in pound-feet, all divided by 33,000. Notice how there are only two variable terms on the right side of the equation, s and t. All the other terms on that side are constant. 2, pi, and 33,000 are all constants. They do not change in value. The horsepower values only changes with spe changes in speed and torque, nothing else. We can rewrite the equation to show this relationship as horsepower is proportional to shaft speed in rotations per minute multiplied by torque in pound-feet. Because the unit of horsepower doesn't coincide exactly with the speed in revolutions per minute multiplied by the torque in pound-feet, we can't say that horsepower equals st. However, they are proportional to one another. As the mathematical product of st changes, the value for horsepower will change by the same proportion. In electrical circuits, power is a function of both voltage and current. Not surprisingly, this relationship bears striking resemblance to the proportional horsepower formula. In the case of electrical power, however, power P is exactly equal to current I multiplied by voltage E rather than merely being proportional to I times E. When using this formula, the unit of measurement for power is the watt, abbreviated with the letter W. An electrical watt meter is a device that measures power. It does this by measuring both current and voltage simultaneously and multiplying these readings to get watts. It may do this mathematically by computation or by some form of analog multiplication. This device is often called a watt meter, but it is actually a watt hour meter. The power company uses them to measure energy used by the customer. They read out in units of kilowatt hours. A kilowatt hour is an energy consumed at a rate of 1,000 watts of power for one hour, or, for example, 500 watts for two hours. It must be understood that neither voltage nor current by themselves constitute power. Rather, power is the combination of both voltage and current in a circuit. 
Remember that voltage is a specific work or potential energy per unit charge, while current is the rate at which electric charges move through a conductor. Voltage, specific work, is analogous to the work done in lifting a weight against the pole of gravity. Current, or rate, is the analogous to the speed at which that weight is lifted. Together, as a product, multiplication of voltage and current constitutes power. Just as in the case of the diesel tractor engine and the motorcycle engine, a circuit with high voltage and low current may be dissipating the same amount of power as a circuit with low voltage and high current. Neither the amount of voltage alone nor the amount of current alone indicates the amount of power in an electric circuit. In an open circuit where voltage is present between the terminals of the source and there is zero current, there is zero power dissipated, no matter how great the voltage may be, since power equals I times E and I equals zero, then anything multiplied by zero is zero. The power dissipated in an open circuit must be zero. Likewise, if we were to have a short circuit constructed of a loop of superconducting wire, absolutely zero resistance, we could have a condition of current in the loop with zero voltage, and likewise no power, would be dissipated since power equals I times E and E equals zero, and anything multiplied by zero is zero, the power dissipated in a superconducting loop must be zero. We'll be exploring the topic of superconductivity in a later chapter. Whether we measure power in the unit of horsepower or the unit of watt, we're still talking about the same thing, how much work can be done in a given amount of time. The two units are not numerically equal, but they express the same kind of thing. In fact, European automobile manufacturers typically advertise their engine power in terms of kilowatts, or thousands of watts, instead of horsepower. These two units of power are related to each other by a simple conversion formula. One horsepower equals 745.7 watts. So, our 100 horsepower diesel and motorcycle engines could also be rated as 74,570 watt engines or 74.57 kilowatt engines in European engineering specifications. This rating would be the norm rather than the exception. Thanks for watching. <laughs>